Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to automatically translate your videos to another language online. So let's say you want to take your content to an international level to reach a wider audience and get more views. To do this, you need to translate your videos into another language. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to translate your video content in just a few clicks using Veed's automatic video translator. And with that being said, let's get started. So like I mentioned, the tool we're going to be using is called Veed. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and then click on the first link. If not, as usual, the link's going to be in the description down below. So go ahead and click the link in the description if you want to translate your videos automatically. And now let me jump onto the computer and show you how it's done. So once you're on Veed, the first step is to click the new project button in the top right. And then once we're in Veed's video editor, this is where we want to upload the video that we want to translate. So if we click on the upload button here, we're just going to select the video that we want to translate. So I'm going to select this podcast snippet right here and click open. As we can see, this video is now imported into Veed's video editor. And if I click play. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the social media podcast. As you can see, we have my video in English. So to begin translating our video, the first thing we need is to transcribe our video. So to do this, we're going to transcribe our video into English. So I'm going to click on the subtitles tab right here, and we're going to use the automatic subtitle tool to automatically generate subtitles for our video. So first I need to select the language that we're talking in. So obviously I'm speaking in English. Now you can select between a bunch of other languages. And then once you've selected your language, click start. And here V takes anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes to automatically transcribe your video. So as you can see, mine went very fast because this is a short video snippet. And now if I click play from the beginning, Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the Social Media Podcast. I'm your host, Alec. And in this podcast, we're going to be talking about everything and anything related to social media. So get comfortable. As we can see, we have the transcription of my video at the bottom and it plays through as we play the video. So the first thing I want to do before I actually translate my video is to check and make sure that the transcription is correct. So the first thing I noticed is that my first subtitle just says everyone instead of hey everyone. So to correct this, I'm just gonna click on it. It then shows up in the subtitle editor and here I can just edit it as if it was normal text. So I'm just gonna type out hey everyone. And then at the end, there's a mistake where I can see one word by itself started. So what I'm going to do is quickly just cut this, delete this actual subtitle, and then just paste it in right here. So now if I click play at the end, grab your favorite drink and let's get started. I want it to last a little bit longer, so I'm just gonna click and drag this. So now we have my perfect subtitles. I'm actually going to adjust the time at the beginning as well. What you can do is place the playhead where you want it to either start or end, and then click either the beginning or end stopwatch for each subtitle. So as we can see in the timeline, if I click the beginning one, it now adapts to where the playhead is. So that's the first step of transcribing our subtitles. Now to translate them, what we need to do is head over to the translate tab. So if I click translate, as we can see here, I can add a subtitle track. And this is what I want to click on. So I click on add subtitle track, and then I need to select the language that I want to translate it to. So here I'm gonna click on the drop down menu and I'm just gonna type in French. So I want to translate this video to French. Now I click French and then here by default, it's translate from original. You can upload other subtitle files if you want to translate those, but we're going to translate from the original transcription. So I leave it at this and click create. Now again here, Veed is going to take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the length of your video to translate it. So now if I click on the edit button for these subtitles, as you can see, they are now in French. So if I click play. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the social media podcast. I'm your host, Alec. And in this podcast, we're going to... So as you can see, we have my video in French and I can assure you that this translation is correct because I also speak French. Salut tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez bien. Bienvenue sur le podcast des réseaux sociaux. So as you can see, I've now translated my video. Now, if I just want to download a transcript of this translation, so let's say I want to upload it as subtitles to YouTube, I can go into the options tab and here at the bottom, I can actually download these translated subtitles as an SRT file. So I just have to click download and they can now download. And I can then upload these as French captions, French closed captions for my YouTube video. Now, if I want to actually embed the subtitles into the video, so I hard code the subtitles or I burn them into the video, I can do so just by clicking the export button in the top right. But before I do that, what I might want to do is adjust the style of my subtitles. You might think that these are too big. So if I go into the style tab right here, I can change a bunch of different things. First of all, I can click and drag them around on the actual video canvas. But here I can also change the style, the font, the line height, the font size. And you can also choose from a bunch of different presets. Now, I like this one right here, but if you have a lot of information in the background, sometimes the text is harder to read. So it's always good to add a transparent box. And what you can actually do is then change the font size. So I'm gonna make mine a bit smaller. And I think this looks a bit better. And if I just click and drag it down to the bottom right here, now if I press play. Social media podcast, I'm your host, Alec. And in this podcast, we go. 
Okay, I think this looks great. So once I'm happy with my translated video, all I have to do is click on the export button in the top right. V then starts to render my video with its new language. So it, my video is now translated into French. And then once it's finished rendering, I can go ahead and download my new translated video. And that is how to automatically translate videos to another language using Veed's automatic video translator. If you have any questions about how to translate your video, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks for watching.